Imagine living in a place where every detail is supreme luxury and the amenities are as exclusive as your residence. Welcome to Turnberry Place. I'm gonna do a video on everything you need to know, so let's get into it. Architectural design. Turnberry Place is comprised of four towers located in Las Vegas on Paradise Road across from Westgate and the Convention Center. These towers were completed in 2002, 2004, and 2006. At the time, they cost $650 million to build. The project was proposed in 1998 by Turnberry Associates. If you're familiar with the name Turnberry, you might be because they do have resident towers in Florida. Turnberry Place is currently the largest largest and tallest condominium complex in Las Vegas. These four towers were designed by Swedry Architects. What I love about the design is it's a very classic, tasteful design, and you get 180 degree sweeping views with floor to ceiling glass windows. While you're in the kitchen cooking or you're just watching TV, you can look over and see the gorgeous Las Vegas strip views or the mountain. Residences and features. So between the four towers, we have 720 units. The floor plan I'm in is one of the most popular floor plans. It's a two bedroom, two bath, and it's a corner unit with a wraparound balcony. This is about 15 hundred square feet. The smallest unit you're going to find in the four towers is about a thousand square feet and they go all the way up to nine thousand square feet in the penthouses. What I love about Turnberry Place is when they designed these floor plans, they curated floor plans that felt like single story homes in the sky. So many of my clients were looking for residences that feel like a home, a single story home, and don't feel like a claustrophobic high rise, I always take them to Turnberry Place because they always say to me, Courtney, you're so right. These units have really large room sizes. The closets are all walk in and it just feels like a single story in the sky. So in the primary suite, you're gonna find a jacuzzi tub, dual vanities, gorgeous tiling throughout. So the kitchen is one of my favorite things about all the designs that I've been into, all the different floor plans. You have this open concept kitchen and you're gonna see appliances like Sub-Zero. Over here, we have a Gaganau gas cooktop. And I think if you've seen any of my high-rise videos, you're gonna note that a lot of times you're not gonna see gas in these high-rise units. So Turnberry Place is one of those unique buildings that does have gas. So usually this is either like a Gaganau or a Miele. And then you have your gorgeous surly, um, stainless steel sink, really nice cabinetry. And this unit here is actually builder grade. So this is how they originally came, granite countertops. And what I love is they always have these cute little wine fridges. Through the years, because this building is hitting that 20 year mark, you are gonna see different brands throughout with the different appliance packages. But I do love that they put a wine fridge in these units. So here you have your stackable washer and dryer. So again, these units are 20 years old, so you might see some different brands, but you know, you're always gonna see this stackable situation. I think it's really smart how they put this here because while you're cooking or in the kitchen, you can also throw in a load of laundry. So the major thing about this high rise and something that separates it from the others is the larger floor plan, open floor plan, but you're also gonna have balconies in some of these units. If you've seen some of my other high rise videos like in Veer, uh, they don't have any balconies, even Waldorf Astoria, no balcony. So if you're someone that needs a balcony, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out Turnberry Place. I'm actually gonna pop you guys onto the wraparound balcony which is completely exquisite and has one of the best views I think and something they did out here is they continued the tile from the inside into the outside So location wise, this one is facing where you have the downtown views. And what I love about the downtown views, you kind of have a vintage Vegas vibe. And side note, they are slating this to possibly be the NBA stadium. Now that is not official. Don't quote me on that. But if it does become the NBA stadium, I really feel like Turnberry Place values are gonna increase. And I also feel like it's gonna be a really cool, unique building to look at. So it's gonna be like the MSG Sphere when that came out. It was one of those 
wow moments. You saw this exquisite building that was super exciting. And I really feel like when they start building these stadiums out, that you have the potential to have that right next door. People often ask me, what's the HOA fees, the homeowners association fees? And they are gonna be quite different than if you're in a home right now in a high rise unit. So in Turnberry Place, we have four different towers with four different HOAs and then the combination of the HOA. Your HOA due is based on the square footage of your unit. This is gonna range from 42 cents to 62 cents a square foot. So let's say you have a 5,000 square foot unit. This could be about $2,300 to $3,100 a month. So what's included in your HOA? Well, in your HOA, you're gonna have each tower's amenities. So each tower has its own pool and gym. Each tower also has its own limousine. Now the hours vary on this, but I love the perk of a limo. Instead of taking Uber or driving to the strip, you can easily hop into the limo and go down to the Las Vegas strip and have it pick you up and take you back, as well as the airport. The HOA also includes 24 hour concierge, valet, parking, gas, cable, internet, and security. Another thing to note is each tower has its own lounge and each vibe of the lounge is different. Tower four was the last tower to be completed, so it was a bit more contemporary modern compared to the very first tower, which is very more traditional European style. These towers also have coffee, tea, water, you have your concierge, your security desk, and then you also have a library area with tons of books. If we haven't met yet, my name is Courtney Bentley and I'm a luxury real estate agent here in Las Vegas. I offer a concierge service to take the headache out of moving to my favorite city. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's move on. Living experiences and community. So located in Turnberry Place, you have your four towers, you have your guard gate station in the front, and then you have the Sterling Club. The Sterling Club just reopened in about 2020. It's 73,000 square feet, and it's been completely renovated. This is a members only club, so it's not part of your homeowners association, but what I'll share is that most people who live in Turnberry Place are also members of the Sterling Club. Within the Sterling Club, you're gonna have the gym, fitness facilities, Pilates, there's also a beauty salon, there's a car detailing shop, a cigar lounge, a restaurant that caters different events. They actually have an event space that can hold up to a thousand people in it. So if you're a member of the Sterling Club and you wanna have a nice event, you can definitely do it within the doors. So I would share that most of the people here in Turnberry Place are members of the Sterling Club. So if you're thinking about moving here, I would definitely get a membership. They also have pickleball and tennis. And fun fact, they have one of the only clay courts in all of Las Vegas and Henderson. So if you're a clay court player and you're into tennis, you have to join the Sterling Club because that's all we have here in our heat. Outside of that, I feel like the limo service gets used a lot. People are constantly going to the strip. And like any high rise building, you hang out in the lobby, you're grabbing the coffee, you're hanging out, you're gonna meet people. They're gonna invite you to go do things. But again, I really wanna preface that if you're in this building, from what I know, from my clients who purchased in here, joining the Sterling Club is the ticket. Location. So like any high rise building near the Las Vegas Strip, you're super close to the Las Vegas Strip and all the action that the Las Vegas Strip has to offer. Shows, restaurants, walking around, shopping. But what's really unique about this location is you're super close to the convention center and the airport. But being close to the convention center means that you are close to the boring underground tunnel. And when that tunnel's complete, which I'm not sure when it's gonna be done, but they already have stations open at the Westgate, the Wynn, Resorts World, you're gonna be able to get anywhere on the Las Vegas Strip by using that tunnel. And the good news is the entrance for the Convention Center Tunnel is just across the street and a few minutes walk. Another thing to note, like I mentioned earlier about the basketball stadium, if that happens, you are literally in the best location ever. Downtown Las Vegas wasn't an area a lot of people liked to go. They felt like it wasn't very safe, but that has shifted with the brand new Circa. We also have Symphony Park, which isn't too far from here as well. Symphony Park has the Smith Center if you're into Broadway theater shows, the ballet performs there. I actually saw the Nutcracker last year there, which was really cool. And they're gonna have the new Elaine Wynn Museum. That museum should open in 2028. So you are literally in the heart of a lot of action without being on the Las Vegas Strip. True or false, the Turnberry Place is comprised of four towers. 
Let me know in the comments below. The first person to answer correctly will get a shout out in my shorts. Security and privacy. These towers are guard gated. So anyone coming into the Turnberry place has to show an ID and be on a guest list. The other thing to note is you need a fob to get into any of the amenities and use the elevator. The last thing to note about the security team here is a lot of these units actually have elevators that just go directly to the unit. So my fob cannot go to any other floor, only the floor that it's programmed to. Market value and investment potential. Now units in this building start in the $800,000 range and go all the way up to several million dollars on the penthouses, of course. But what I see with this building, because it is one of those luxurious, classic style buildings with such a prime location and great amenities. I feel like the values are just going to increase. I actually feel like this building is such a great value for all the amazing things that you get. Now, do I predict that it's going to go bonkers and sell like crazy? Not really. I do feel like the Sterling Club has solidified that the four towers have a lot going on before the Sterling Club was closed. And it's been closed for many, many years. And I feel like that downgraded the building a bit. People didn't have that cool amenity in the center to meet people and have cocktails and dinners and work out and have all of that going on. So I feel like since the Sterling Club has opened, these four towers have seen a lot more action. And if that NBA team comes for sure and that stadium gets built, we all know this building is gonna be prime real estate. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed learning about Turnberry Place, let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you never miss a video. I'll see you on the next one.